welcome to my first video. I hope you enjoy it. It's a read-along. Today I'm going to be reading The Tale of City Sue and it's written by Jean Willis and illustrated by Dermot Flynn. Down in Fairy Meadow, oh Finn, on Finn O'Leary's farm, there lived a little dairy herd full of Irish charm. It's this friendly Frisian family were free to roam and browse to eat the freshest, greenest grass, which make them happy cows. They belonged to Farmer Finn, who called them by their names, and when it was their birthday, he brought hearty hats and games. He played his violin for them inside the milking shed and sang them soothing lullabies when it was time for bed. Farmer Finn adored his cows, the cows all loved him too, and everyone was smiley then. Along came City Sue. She arrived from Tatty Town, she came up on the train. Put me in the shed, she said. I do not like the rain. The herd were puzzled, but rain is good, they said. It makes the grass grow rich and sweet to keep us fit and fed. I don't eat grass, frowned City Sue. It's ghastly stuff, she cried. It's not the modern thing to chew. I want to live inside. You meadow cows are mad, she said. It's not like this in town. We stop indoors like ladies there, sunrise until sundown. She trotted off towards the shed without another word. How rude, said Mammy Buttercup, the leader of the herd. She's shy, said Sister Bluebell. I will ask her out to play. But City Sue said, Fresh air, poo, I hate it, go away. When it came to milking time, she kicked at Farmer Finn. She banked out of the milking stall and broke his violin. The other cows all stared at her in horror and dismay for treating darling Farmer Finn in such a dreadful way. She has to go, said Buttercup. She's not happy here. But Farmer Finn just smiled and whispered softly in her ear. Why don't you throw a picnic to welcome City Sue? We'll show her all the lovely things that meadow cows can do. A picnic, muttered Buttercup. I'll go and spread the word. While Sue sulked in the cow shed, she ran off to tell the herd. Help me make a picnic feast, she said to Babs and Belle. Grass and shamrock sandwiches should go down very well. Marge, you're in charge of dips. Who wants to bring the drinks? I'll make milkshakes, Lily said. I've got enough, I think. By lunchtime they were ready, and the picnic cloth was laid, and Farmer Finn fetched City Sue and led her to the glade. Surprise! they cried as Sue's brown eyes shone bright with happy tears. Raise your glasses, bottoms up, said Buttercup. Now cheers! Have a sandwich, dear, said Babs, and handed Sue the plate. I don't eat grass, she said, but hey, I will do now. Mm, it's great! She joined a game of swing ball, played hide and seek and catch, went skinny dipping in the pond and won a tennis match. And when it clouded over, over, she did not run in again. She danced the can-can, ooh la la, in the pouring rain.